Are we on? I think we're on. Hi everyone, welcome to Things Lucy Reads, I'm Luce and this is ostensibly a November TBR, an info video about the Middle Earth Road Trip Readathon. Um, but it is also a test video because I got a new camera this week, it's a Canon G7X Mark II. Um, which apparently is very good for vlogging, so I'm pretty impressed with it so far and we're gonna try it out and I'm gonna try and look into the lens and not at myself in the screen, which is probably gonna be pretty hard because I've never had a <laughs> view screen before. Um, okay, so this is a readathon being run by Hex Libris on Instagram. Oops, it already happened. My bad. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> yes, so it's being run by Hex Libris on Instagram. Um, I will link their page in the description bar um, along with the post that has all of the information about it. So each prompt is a place in Middle Earth and the idea is to have um, one book for each um, location and you like travel around to each location. Um, there were, how many have I got? Five, six, seven, there were ten prompts. I have books for seven of them. Um, you didn't have to choose books for all of the locations, you could choose whichever ones you wanted. Um, the only condition was that you didn't double up, so you couldn't use a book for more than one prompt. And I guess, although I think it works the other way, I think you can use a prompt for more than one book. Um, anyway, I will put all of those details down below. So uh, the first book on my TBR and also the location where I'm starting, which is Numenor, the Isle of Numenor, the prompt for that is a book with a lost or fallen civilization. I've chosen Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor, which is about um, someone who's obsessed with a mythic lost city called Weep. Um, I'm also going to be honest, this TBR was crafted mostly because they're all books that I need to read so that I can buy the sequels. Um, I do already own Muse of Nightmares, but you know, I've, I've got to read them. So that's what I'm going to do. And then the next prompt is Fangorn Forest. So that was a book um, that's either set in a forest or has any nature-based word in the title. And my book for that one is Rivers of London by Ben Aronovich, which is the first book in the Peter Grant series. This is like an urban fantasy detective magical London kind of series. I've heard very good things and it sounds really cool. And um, most of the sequels are between like seven and nine dollars on the book depository so i've got to get on that because once they're gone they're gone and i don't want to have to pay twenty dollars for them so um and then the next book sorry i'm just i've put all of my tbr information in my own instagram post so that's what i'm kind of doing because i've forgotten which is which um the next location i'm going to after fangorn is rivendell um, and that is a book you are anticipating and my choose for that, my, my choose, my choose for that, <laughs> my choice for that is Mortal Engines by Philip Reeve, which is the first book in the, oh, I think it's called Infernal Devices. Um, I've never read this series. I've never, I mean, I've been peripherally aware of it, but never really like specifically interested in reading it. Um, but then I saw the trailer for the movie. And Hugo Weaving is in it and that's pretty much all I ever need to watch a movie it's Hugo Weaving in it but it also looked like a really cool um, like uh, fictional universe like the world building looks really awesome so I wanted to um, give it a shot these covers came out um, this year I think they're they're not a movie tie-in really but they're new they're new covers anyway um, and I think that they're really cool and I like them better than any of the other covers that this series has. So that's the one that I've got. Um, the next location is Mirkwood and the prompt for that is a book full of monsters. And my pick for that is The Last Witch. The Last Witch. God. <sighs> okay, the book is called The Last Witch. It's called The Last Wish. It's the first book in the Witcher series, at least I think that's what the series is called. This is the, the series that the video game The Witcher was based on. 
Um, as you can see, I continually get these two mixed up and I have to stop myself every time from just calling this The Witcher because it's not The Witcher. It's called The Last Wish and not The Last Witch, The Last Wish. Anyway, The Last Wish by Andrzej Sapkowski. Um, yeah, Geralt of Rivia. He, there's, there's elves, he fights monsters. It looks cool. My friend Cecil loves it. So yeah, and all of the sequels are cheap on the book depository. So I, I gotta do the thing. Next location is Kant, so like Harrod. Um, and the prompt for that is an own voices book of a culture, not your own. And for that, I've chosen The Hate You Give by Ange Angie Thomas. Um, this is on my TBR because I think I just need to read this and I want to read it before the movie comes out anyway. Um, but it fit this prompt because it's about um, being black in America and I am neither black nor American. Um, and it's, it is own voices. So it counts. Um, yeah, I've heard nothing but amazing things about this and I'm just really, really excited to finally read it. And I think it will be fantastic. Okay, so those are the five books on the main TBR. And then if I get through all of those, I have two bonus books. Um, so the first one is for Gondor and the prompt for that is royalty or lost royalty and my book for that is The War of the Jewels by Tolkien because I've been reading this now for like months and I just really want to get through it. The first part is the Grey Annals and they're not boring necessarily they're just I don't know I don't know I haven't actually been able to get very far through this book at all but hopefully I can fix that with a very short TBR this month um, maybe I can get through it. And I've been really good at finishing off all of my currently reading books. A few months ago, there was like seven at the start of the month. Um, at the start of this month, it was down to two, and now I've only got this one. So I think I can do it. And then the last, um, prompt that I have a book chosen for is for The Shire, which is a book that helps you relax. And for that, I've chosen, um, this bind up arc that I have of Captive Prince and Prince's Gambit by C.S. Picat. Um, I started reading this a little while ago as a reread. I was like seven or eight books ahead on my Goodreads goal and I recently received this and I just wanted to um, like read it as a as a reward for myself for getting so far ahead on my goal but then I actually um, fell behind on my goal and also didn't um, finish this because I was just reading a bunch of other things I think and wanted to read those instead. I don't remember. It was it was like May or June, I think. Anyway, so hopefully I can just finish it off. Um, it is a reread. I've read this series like three times all the way through now. Um, and I don't think that there's anything different between the arcs and the actual published books, um, but I guess I will find out. Um, and it's not, it's not that this is a relaxing series. It's just that by this point, I know it so well and it's um, really familiar and comforting. Um, so yeah, hopefully I can get to this one as well. And I just want to point out that I've got a little magnetic bookmark of Damon from Happy Hello Co. And it it's the cutest thing. And I have a Laurent just, just here as well. Um, but the books are from Damon's point of view, so I used him. So yeah, um, that is my TBR for November. I am going to attempt not to deviate from it too far, although I'm sure that there will be other books um, being read along the way. This is by no means all of the books that I will read in November, but hopefully I will read all of these plus others. Um, yeah, so let me know if you've read any of these and what you thought. Um, if you want to join this readathon, absolutely do so. Like I said before, I will link all of the details in the description bar below. There is a hashtag for Instagram if you want to join in over there. Um, it will be predominantly run on Instagram. I don't think that Echo has a YouTube channel. I could be wrong about that. If they do, I will also link that down below. Um, yeah. Also, let me know what you think of my new technology. I think it's going very well. Uh, yeah. So thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone. Now, which is the right button? This one. I think it's this one.